If you know an eigenvalue of a matrix, finding eigenvectors associated with it is easy. We're going in kind of a weird order here, admittedly, because we don't know how to find eigenvalues yet. But let's see how to find eigenvectors via example. Here's a matrix and an eigenvalue of the matrix. And the way we're going to see that this is an eigenvalue is to find eigenvectors. I mean, lambda equals two is an eigenvalue if and only if this equation has non-trivial solutions. And the non-trivial solutions are the eigenvectors. So let's find eigenvectors. And as part of that, we'll show that two is an eigenvalue. We're going to bring everything to the same side of the equation here. And now we're going to perform a little trick. What we'd really like to do is pull an X out. We have an X here and an X here. But if we try to pull X out naively, a problem appears. Years, this a minus two isn't defined. We can't subtract a real number from a matrix. So what we do instead is that is we say, well, X is a matrix. I mean, it's a vector, but a vector is a special kind of matrix. And we can multiply a matrix by the identity without changing it. Throwing an I in here doesn't do anything. I times X is still X. But what it enables us to do is pull out that X, and now we have a matrix equation. So two times I is this, and A minus two times I is, let me see, this becomes one negative two, one negative two, here's A minus two times I. And to solve this equation, we augment with this zero vector, and when we perform Gauss-Jordan elimination, we get this. We call this X1 and X2, the components of this vector X. Then X1 equals 2X two and X two equals one X two and X could be any scalar multiple of this vector. 
So what have we done? First of all, we have verified that two is an eigenvalue. Two is an eigenvalue if and only if there are non-zero vectors that make this equality true. And there are, if you let x2 be any real number other than zero, you get a non-trivial solution to this equation. Second, we found the eigenvectors associated with the eigenvalue two. The solutions are our eigenvectors with the single exception that eigenvectors are by definition not to the zero vector. So every value of x2 gives us an eigenvector except for this one.